Mmm. Oh my gosh, that is so nice. Look at your little cup. Look at your Who's little, little babies. Who's a little baby? Yeah. Slimy bit at the back of your throat. <coughs> In a relationship with all my bitches. Are you actually okay up there? Because I'm not sure that you are. Hi everyone, it's Molly May. Welcome back to another YouTube video. I've had a couple of requests recently to do a more kind of chilled and chatty video just so that you guys can get to know a little bit more about me and what I'm about and just who I am really. So I thought I would sit down today and film the get to know me tag for you guys just so you can get this information, get the goss, you know, let me spill the tea on my life. Again, starting the video with two things I will quickly just mention. The first is that I tried to slow down in my last video, I tried to slow my talking down, but still, people were coming from me in the comments saying, this girl talks too fast, I thought the speed was on times two, um, yeah, saying that I still talk too fast, so I will really, really try today, I promise I will. My ring light actually recently exploded and set on fire, no exaggeration there whatsoever, I was literally filming my last video and I smelt smoke and I looked down and the wire no, you've actually never seen anything like it in your life. There was sparks, there was smoke, there was like little mini little flames. It was the scariest thing ever. So the ring light is temporarily cancelled until I actually buy a new one. So I'm hoping that you don't mind this natural lighting. I'm just going to get on with the questions and I really hope you enjoy the video. The question number one is what is your full name? Starting off with a nice easy one. Uh, my full name is Molly May Haig. So Molly May is double barrel and then Haig is my surname. Where are you from is the next question. Um, so I'm originally from a county called Hertfordshire and I grew up in a little town called Hitchin. But I've recently a couple of months ago moved out of Hitchin and into the next county across called Bedfordshire. To be honest I never really home that much Anyway, like I spend a lot of my time in London. London's kind of like a 25 minute train journey from my house, which kind of gives you an idea as to like where I live. So I'm normally like going away for either like work or to see friends or just because I feel like it. Like I am quite spontaneous. So the next question is, do you have any siblings? Yes is the answer to that question. Um, I do have siblings. I have one older sister. She is 23 years old and she's called Zoe. She's actually a medic in the army. So I don't actually get to see her that often. She's actually coming home today, which is nice but normally I don't really get to see her that often. I've got a very, very small family, so I've just got Zoe as like my kind of sibling. I don't have any cousins. I've got one auntie and one grandparent. Like I've got a very, very small family. There's only just a few of us. Next question is, are you single or taken? So I am currently single and I have been for just over a year now. I was with my last boyfriend for nearly three years, so I was in my last relationship for a long time. I actually thoroughly enjoyed relationship life and having a boyfriend. I kind of love having that consistency and that one person you can kind of count on and know is like 100% down for you and you can trust. I found single life to be quite inconsistent, so the opposite. You just don't know anything, everything's so uncertain and I think you just you just have to think a lot more about things. I'm not bothered about being single at all, it doesn't, it doesn't phase me. I actually quite enjoy being single. But girls and boys, when you don't look for something, it comes. It comes your way, so I'm not looking for a relationship, I'm not looking for love, I'm not looking for anyone, I'm just gonna do me for a while. I kind of really want one. <laughs> Did you go to school or college? Um, yes, I went to school, I went to secondary school, obviously, um, and I stayed there until year 11, when I then decided to move on to college. I was very adamant my whole way through secondary school that I wanted to stay on and do sixth form, but when it came to making that decision, I kind of sat down and realised, I don't actually like school, like I really don't like education, I didn't really have a very strong year group, or like a majorly strong friendship group, and I just thought, why am I kind of sticking around wasting time, like doing something that I don't love, and that I find quite hard, and I went to the Fashion Retail Academy in London, which is like a fashion school slash kind of a college, um, and I did a two year course there, and doing that was probably one of the best decisions of my life, it was such an amazing two years, I had so much fun, I was able to work whilst still like being in education, so I got the best of both worlds. Next question is, what was the last song that you listened to? Oh, good question. Let me have a little a little goosey gander, let me have a look for you. The last song I listened to on my Spotify was Last Night, and um, it was it's called The Morning After by DBSN. It's a bit of an emotional song, not gonna lie. I was in my fields last night, clearly. Um, boy Troubles. Breaking nobody's dead at all. Is it you? Is it me? Is it what is your favourite TV show? So I don't really watch TV that much anymore. When I was younger, I used to watch TV literally all the time. Like I'd get in from school and sit in the living room in my school uniform and just watch TV for hours and hours. But I guess I've kind of like replaced 
watching TV with kind of watching YouTube, which actually leads on to another question in the tag, um, which is who are your favourite YouTubers? Patricia Bright is probably my all-time favourite YouTuber. I also love Jordan Lipscomb, Misha Grimes. We've been friends with Mish um, for nearly, I think, probably over two years now. And Misha's just hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, so... She's done absolutely amazingly. And as her friend, to kind of see her do that, that has just been so, so amazing to watch. I'd also say Sid and Elle because they're another kind of pair of YouTubers that I've watched from the very, very start. It feels like yesterday that they posted their first video because I actually follow Sydney on Instagram before they started their channel. So I remember kind of like watching their first video and watching their channel grow like from the very, very bottom all the way to where it is now. I don't even know what that is. Is that someone having a shower? Is that someone having a poo? I literally... God knows what that is. What's one of your bad habits? I'm not too sure. I have absolutely loads of bad habits. I'm not going to lie. Um, I have plenty. But if I was to say one, I'd probably say my eating. I'd say my eating is a very bad habit of mine. I have a very, very weird um, kind of eating pattern. And I eat very weird things. And I'm also addicted to cereal. If it was down to me, I would have cereal for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Another bad habit would probably be being a little bit too giddy and overexcited sometimes. I'm a very enthusiastic person and a very passionate person let's put it that way. I definitely do have an off button, like I know when I need to be calm and collected and sensible but I'd say one of my other bad habits would probably just be being a little bit too overexcited sometimes, a little bit extra when I just don't need to be. And I guess that's probably why I talk too fast and like everyone hates on me for speaking so fast but I'm just like quite a enthusiastic, excitable person so I guess with that comes quick talking which I am trying to improve on I promise. <laughs> what was your favourite and worst subject in school? Um, okay so my favourite subject in school would probably be drama which is the worst answer ever because drama is such a dust out subject. Uh, well it's not a dust out subject, it's a good subject but it's not really like a proper subject. I got an A in English and an A star in sociology so I really enjoyed them and I was quite good at them and any kind of subjects that I was good at I enjoyed, that's why I liked drama because I'm such a drama queen so I was quite good at it. <laughs> Maths and science, you can genuinely wave goodbye to me in those subjects. I was so shockingly bad at them. I had to have a tutor in maths for two years just to scrape, scrape the sea. I scraped it by like the skin of my teeth. I remember so, so clearly about science when my teacher actually and I had such a strong dislike for each other that she actually put me on the special desk and the special desk was basically a chair attached to her desk, like in front of her desk so she could literally see what I was doing at all times. But do you know what the worst, worst part about it is, right, is that this teacher would show all the class, like, demonstrations and do all the demonstrations standing like behind the special desk. So she would do all the demonstrations behind me. So I was facing this way and she was facing that way. So I couldn't even see like when she was showing the class how to light litmus paper or find the diffusion level for acid. I don't even know. But when she was showing all this stuff, I couldn't even see what she was doing because she was doing it behind me. So even though I was meant to be learning more, I was actually in fact learning less, which still frustrates me to this day, as you can see, even though it was like three years ago now. <laughs> Next question is what are your hobbies? Um, I don't really have any kind of like specific hobbies at the moment. I am a massive gym freak. I gym pretty much every day. So I'd say kind of exercise is one of my main hobbies, but I don't have like a specific sport. I just like doing gym, if that makes sense. I also, um, up until recently, competed in pageants. I've competed in pageants since 2015 and won my first title in 2016. And then with that title, I went to China and, compete, and competed internationally in China for two weeks. Pageants is such a long thing to explain. Um, I'm probably gonna film a completely separate video on it if that's something that you guys would like to see, um, like a QA and a or something. But yeah, pageantry was one of my hobbies, um, but I don't really do it anymore, and I'm not, I've not got a title at the moment, and I'm not planning on doing any um, for quite a long time. The next question is, what is your favorite meal? Um, I don't really specifically have like a favourite meal I would say, like, it's not like one meal that I would say oh if I was on like my deathbed um, I'd have this meal. But if I did have to kind of really choose my like favourite meal it would probably be an STK steak and chips. So from the restaurant STK, one of their steaks and their big fat chips would probably be my favourite meal. It is the most incredible thing you'll ever taste. I don't even like meat, like I'm not a meat eater. And if you have a birthday or a special occasion coming up and you live near London, I would 100% try and get a booking there and um, spoil yourself with a nice meal there because it's the most incredible restaurant and the food is just amazing. Then the final question I'm gonna ask is, do you want children and have you thought of names? Now, to be honest, this question is a little bit um, out of reach and out of sight and out of mind. I am only 19 and I do not plan on having children 
anytime soon. So mum, if you're watching this, do not worry. In an ideal world that definitely does not exist, um, I would love two girls. Like that is my kind of dream would be to have two girls. But if I was to name like, a girl or a boy, I'd always make sure that I give them a really super unusual and individual name that no one in their class is going to have because when I was in secondary school and growing up, I was in a class with three Mollies. There was three of us and we were all like that. We were literally like best friends. So everyone kind of knew us as like the three Mollies, which we love. Like we love being known as like the three Mollies. But in my, like in my heart, I was like, oh, I wish I had an individual name that no one else had. So that concludes all the questions that I'm going to answer for you today. I really hoped I kind of answered all the questions that you wanted to hear and that you got to learn a little bit more about me. I'm sorry if you can hear that banging going on whilst I'm doing this outro. I've waited long enough now okay this video has taken me long enough i'm just going to power through it and if you can hear it i am really really sorry and i hope it's not been too distracting so i hope this video has informed you a little bit more about me i'm really really grateful if you have made it to the end of this video you're a trooper as i always say hopefully i will see you all in my next video bye